Hello everyone, in today's video we will talk about Azure AD Identity Protection and see a small demo of it. As per Microsoft, there are around 18 billion logins every day, out of which 300 million are done by hackers who try to steal your company data. Identity Protection provides an automation to detect these risky sign-ins and risky users. You can block their access, you can require them to change the password. You can only allow access if they do multi-factor authentication if a risk has been detected. Some of the events against which identity protection provides us securities like if a user credential has been leaked and it has been published on dark web then Microsoft checks that and it will mark it as a risky user because the user credentials have been compromised and they have been leaked on the dark web and then automatically that user account could be prompted to change the password or blocked. Let's say if a user is logging in from an anonymous IP, then that can be blocked. There could be a scenario if a user uh, logs in every day from his office, which is in Australia. After five minutes, a uh, login happens with his credential, let's say from other part of the world, then that would be an impossible travel. So Microsoft will detect that and say that it's a risky login and then the action can be taken. So there are two kind of risks here. First one is called risky user. The second one is called risky sign-in. So a risky user could be, let's say if a user has a password which is very simple and that has been leaked on the dark web, then in that case, that would be called a risky user. So you will have option either you want, you can block that user, you can allow that user to log in, or you can allow only after a password change. The other is a, risky sign-in so risky sign-in is a risk detection in which you can either block the user allow the user or allow the user with multi-factor authentication so example for risky sign-in would be if a user has logged in from australia and after five minutes he is logging in from usa then that is a kind of a risky sign-in there are three kind of policies here the first one is mfa registration in which the user is forced to set up multi-factor authentication for him or her. So a user will get 14 days to set the multi-factor authentication. The second one is uh, user risk, which is uh, for the risky user. The third one is sign-in risk. So we will see a small demo of it now. Here I am in my Azure portal. I will go to Azure AD Identity Protection. So this is the MFA registration policy, this is sign-in risk and this is user risk policy. So first of all, we will set up the MFA registration policy. So by default, it's applied to all users, but I will apply only to my single user, which is in Intune users group. For this to work, uh, you need Azure AD premium licenses. And I will select the control which is require Azure MFA registration and enforce this policy. Now I will try to log into my mail and it should uh, prompt me for the MFA setup. So I will log in with my account. So it's asking me to set up MFA which uh, I need to do. I have uh, 14 days after that it would be mandatory for me to set so I'm going to set it now so I have set the MFA and now I am able to access my email so let me sign out and try to log back again again so my login is working so I'm going to close this now I will create a sign in risk policy So I've selected my group. I will select uh, sign in risk level to low or above. So if the sign in risk level is low or above, it will ask me for multi factor authentication and I will enforce the policy.
I will try to access my email now from Tor browser. So Tor browser is a open source browser which hides your identity. So it should ask me for MFA. So if I go here, my access is allow access and require multi-factor authentication. So it should prompt me for MFA if I try to access. Here I am getting a message that suspicious activity detected. So it's asking me to verify, which would be a multi-factor authentication. So I've got the code here on my phone. So here are uh, my emails and I am able to access them. So let me sign out from this and go back to the policy and instead of require MFA, let me block the access. So now I have blocked the access. Now it shouldn't ask me for MFA. Instead, it should block my access. So let me try accessing again. So it, now it says your sign in was blocked. So here we have seen that uh, sign in risk policy where we can block the access require MFA. So this was the sign in risk policy and this is the user risk policy. In user risk policy, the conditions are either to allow access, block access or require a password change. So if it's a user account which has been compromised, password has been compromised leaked on the dark web and it's not a risky sign in then we get the option to block the access or allow access but user has to change the password we also get reports here for risky users uh, risky sign ins and risk detection we can go to overview tab as well here in the overview tab, uh, we can see a dashboard view of our risky users detected, risky sign-ins and uh, how many high-risk users we have. We also see identity security score. Here we can see that um, our score is 28 out of 203 and these are some suggestions which we can implement to increase our security score. So this was a small demo on identity protection. I hope you liked it. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.